All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the tracer for a bullet. So a tracer is just going to be the line that goes behind. And again, there's also the brushes that we've looked at before that can override the uh, tracer options. So I'm just going to go down here to our tracer icon on this one right here. All right, so it's actually in the scene right now, but it's white. So let's go ahead and turn it just into a blue line right there. All right, so for the tracer, if you have it enabled, there is a the trail time. So for instance, if you want it to be two seconds behind, so it's gonna stay in the scene for two seconds here. So if we scroll out, you can see it going across there. Um, the starting width, we'll, we'll take this down to just one for a moment. There we go. So the starting width is just gonna be how big does it start? So see it following that starting spot. The ending width is how big does it end over here, all right? So if we were wanting to make it, and this would be something that if you had a bullet that was larger, or you just had a powerful uh, kind of an image uh, that you wanted to wrap across as it shot, you could do that with it. Um, we could also take the alpha down here. There we go. All right, so if the ending value, say we want to make the ending value a little bit smaller, so it looks like it kind of trails off right there. And we'll match the uh, start one closer to see if you kind of see the speed, uh, the size of the bullet right there. So we've got a 10 on that one, and we just taken it down to a zero on this one. All right, so a setup like that, now that when we go to uh, use it when we shoot we'll be able to see the trail going behind it there all right so there you go nice set of little trails and uh, depending on which type you are uh, using whether you're using a, uh, a brush and overriding it with a particle that we've looked at before or using it just with this you can have those set up